Let's look at a departure procedure that involves radar vectors from ATC, but also requires some specific headings and routes to follow on departure. We're holding short of runway 13 at Marstown, New Jersey. Our IFR clearance to Nantucket, to the east, includes the Marstown 7 departure, breezy transition, and to climb via the SID. Let's pull up the plate for that departure. We see that there are specific headings to maintain for each runway we depart from, including runway 13 for us. Going to the next page of the procedure, we focus in on the specific requirements for runway 13. We're to climb initially on heading 127. At 800 feet, we continue the climb to 100. At 1700 feet, we then turn right to 160. Then we continue as per notes or vectors to the assigned route or fix. We were assigned the breezy transition. That's the third note below. It says we'll be issued vectors to the IGN 217 radial to breezy. So we'll be given a vector to intercept the radial to that VOR. We can see it leading to the breezy intersection to the northeast of the airport. We'll want to have it set up on our nav 1. It's on 117.6. So we enter that in and bring it active. Then we push the CDI soft key to bring up the green needles of the VOR. We're too low and the Kingston VOR is too far away to receive right now. Just the same, we can set the 217 radial by turning the course knob until the tail is on 217, which sets a course to fly inbound on its reciprocal 37 degrees. Of course, we can also load the departure procedure into the GPS and have our flight director follow the segments that way. When we go into the procedures, the Marstown 7 automatically populates since that's the only option, and we select our departing runway 13. We select our transition, Breezy, and we can see the steps on here and compare them with the chart. We hold 127 heading to 800 feet, then turn left to 100, then at 1700 feet we turn right to 160. Our clearance was to climb via the SID. The top altitude is 2000, so we level off there and await vectors. On the GPS, the next segment says man seek, manual sequence. Then after that, it shows the 039 track to IGN, which is the course that'll take us to Breezy along that radial. We can review the course on the moving map of the MFD to make sure it tracks with what we expect to fly on the chart. We'll set up our initial heading of 127 degrees. Since we've got the departure loaded into the GPS, we can go back to the pink needles and fly the nav course. If we push bearing 1, we can bring up a needle which will appear once we pick up the VOR signal in the air, which will let us know when we're approaching the 217 radial. We'll need that to intercept it. So we're set to depart. The first heading is 127, which is essentially runway heading, but it's not officially runway heading, so make sure to hold actual runway heading until 400 AGL, at which point we can resume 127. We'll hold that heading through 800 feet, and then the GPS will turn us to 100 degrees. Around this time, we might get our handoff to approach, who will radar identify us. That thin needle comes alive on the HSI, and we now have picked up the VOR. When told to intercept the 217 radial, we'll be given a vector which will allow us to intercept it. We'll know we've intercepted when the tail of the arrow approaches 217, and we can then fly inbound to Breezy on course 37 degrees, the reciprocal. At 1700 feet, the GPS will turn us to 160. We're getting ready to stop our climb and receive our vector to intercept the radial. Instead, ATC tells us to turn left to wreck Breezy and climb and maintain 6000. We'll go into our flight plan, find Breezy, and go direct. We'll also keep our climb going through 2000 up to 6. So what we've seen is a more realistic scenario where a departure involves a vector to intercept a VOR radial, but ATC typically turns you direct to your transition fix. You need to be ready for both scenarios, even if the latter is more likely, which is why we had the VOR monitor on the HSI. Make sure you're catching these little briefing items on the new departures. At first glance, the Marstown 7 looked like a run-of-the-mill radar departure where ATC would assign you headings, but you've had to manage the GPS, VOR, and different headings and altitude in a short amount of time. Want to be an IFR expert? Check out Flight Insight IFR Ground School today at the link here and in the description. Thousands of your fellow pilots have done so already.